Well, what do you think? You think that uh, elm stump coated in 50% uh, mix of pine tar and boiled linseed oil. I even put it on the bottom before I rolled it over. We'll hold that anvil for another 100 years. Bought, whoops. When I bought the anvil, the gentleman gave me this book. And it's a fabulous book if you if you are into uh, this kind of stuff. And this goes over the whole forge that was called Mouse Hole Forge uh, over in England. Well, that's who made this anvil. Now, let me get over there and give you a close-up look of it. And then we'll look at the book and see if we can figure out the age and the weight. Okay, let's look at the weight first. They put a number, then a dot, then another number, and another dot, and then another number. The first number is 100 weight, which is an English weight, and it's equal to uh, 112 pounds. And right here, you can see a 1. And the second number, there's the dot, and the second number, which is a one, is quarter hundred weight. And that is 28 pounds. So there's, uh, what is that, 140 pounds? Yeah, 140. There's the dot. And then there's an 18. So this anvil weighs 158 pounds. I put it on the scales the other day, a bathroom scales, and it weighed right on 150. But you can see there's a lot of this kind of stuff. And over the years, it's lost eight pounds. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it says, I can see some letters here. Let me put it on hold a minute here. Okay, the first word up here is Armitage. There may have been another word up above here, but I can't read it because people would fold metal over and hammer here and it just knocked it out. Then you can see mouse hole and there's nothing down here, which that's another indication. Because if it said mouse hole forge, then it would change the date. So Armitage, mouse hole. It may say Henry above it, but that's what I'm seeing right there, the Armitage Mouse Hole and then the pounds. If it said MH Mouse Hole, it would say Forge, and the date would be 1854 to 1875. After that, they had a mouse on all of them, so I'm thinking this is the correct stamp that I've got and it would be 1835 to 1854 so this anvil is a lot older than what I thought it was I thought it was 1880s what do you think I don't know if you could see the markings let's take another look you can't read anything up here but there's Armitage and there's mouse, M-O-U, you can't really read the rest of it, but there's H-O-L, and there's nothing in here, and then here's your 1.1.18. So I think this sandal is at least 150 years old. What I did was I wire wheeled it off to clean it up a little bit because there's a bunch of grunge on it. And then I just gave it a light coating of the same uh, stuff I put on my stump. And then I drilled a hole on each side and run this bolt through the chain or lag bolt. I put a 
rubber inner tube on it so it wouldn't mar it or anything any more than it already is but my mouse hole anvil is going to go back into use as soon as I uh, get my forge built and I want to get back on working on my uh, big blacksmithing vice soon it's amazing how a great big chunk of wrought iron can get an old fart like me all excited I think it's fantastic I've wanted an anvil for 25 years and I finally got a nice one okay here we go one of my viewers told me to take a ball bearing this is a steel ball bearing about a, maybe a half inch and drop it on the top of the anvil and it should bounce I don't know if you can see that it seems to be bouncing pretty good there are a few kind of dead spots that I it's hard to find them right there it's a little bit less of a bounce It's almost coming right back up where I'm dropping it from. There you go. Thanks for watching.